வெல்கம் டு த சென்டர் ஃபார் டிஜிட்டல் லேர்னிங் மணிபால் காலேஜ் ஆஃப் ஃபார்மசியூட்டிக்கல் சயின்சஸ் திஸ் இனிஷியேட்டிவ் இஸ் ஃபண்டட் பை விஷன் குரூப் ஆன் சயின்ஸ் அண்ட் டெக்னாலஜி கவர்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் கர்நாடகா அண்ட் சப்போர்ட்டட் பை மணிபால் அகாடமி ஆஃப் ஹையர் எஜுகேஷன் மணிபால் த்ரூ த சென்டர் ஃபார் டிஜிட்டல் லேர்னிங் வி பிரிங் டு யூ எஜுகேஷனல் கண்டென்ட் ஃப்ரம் சப்ஜெக்ட்ஸ் சச் ஆஸ் பேசிக் சயின்சஸ் ஹெல்த் சயின்சஸ் எக்ஸெட்ரா விச் ஆர் காம்ப்ரிஹென்சிவ் and easy to understand i am dr anup kishor a faculty in the department of pharmacology manipal college of pharmaceutical sciences the first set of lectures is on dose and concentration calculation of dose is a pretty vast subject so i will be restricting my discussion to those topics which are relevant to pharmacology and cell biology but Before we start let me discuss the difference between dose and concentration this is something the undergraduate students get confused with and interchangeably use though related dose is not the same as concentration let's first see what dose means dose is the measured quantity of a substance the term is used when you only have a single substance whose quantity you are going to measure how are doses expressed or what is the unit of dose the unit for expressing dose depends on the physical and chemical nature of the substance being measured and the method employed to measure its quantity let me explain this with the help of few examples firstly take the case of a solid substance like sodium chloride or common salt when common salt is weighed on a balance the quantity of the substance is expressed in terms of its weight here the quantity taken is 500 grams which means the dose of common salt is 500 grams so in the case of a solid substance dose is the amount of substance measured as its weight this is usually expressed in kilograms grams milligrams micrograms nanograms etc next let me give you an example using a drug dosage form this is a strip of paracetamol tablets on the strip here it says each tablet contains 500 milligrams of the drug that is the dose of paracetamol present in each tablet expressed in weight so if you swallow a tablet you consume a dose of 500 mg of paracetamol and if you break the tablet into two equal halves and swallow one half you would be consuming a dose of 250 mg of paracetamol as you can see doses of solid substances are measured in weight that is in grams and milligrams now what if the substance is a liquid if the substance is a liquid dose can still be expressed in terms of its weight this is beta caryophyllin a natural sesquiterpene that exists as a liquid beta caryophyllin can be weighed using a balance and its dose can be expressed in weight like milligrams or grams the dose of a liquid can also be expressed in volume like milliliters microliters or nanoliters here the quantity of beta caryophyllin is measured using a graduated or measuring cylinder or even a pipette and the dose is expressed in milliliters and what about plant extracts which are sticky and semi solids here again we can weigh the substance and the dose can be expressed in weight a third method of expressing quantity of substances is in moles it tells you about the number of particles of a substance like the number of molecules present in a given amount of the substance for example the number of molecules of paracetamol present in 500 mg of paracetamol we will discuss about moles in detail later so dose can be expressed in weight that is grams milligrams micrograms nanograms etc in volume 
like milliliters, microliters, nanoliters, etc., and moles. Apart from weight, volume, and number, are there any other ways of expressing doses? Yes, of course. Like I mentioned earlier, it depends on the chemical and physical nature of the substance. We will see more about doses in the next video. If you like the video, kindly subscribe to our channel. If you have any queries or comments, write to us at digital.learning at manipal.edu or post in the comments section below. Thank you.